Well, we've been talking about GFI electrical outlets, and here's, here's the GFI electrical outlet installed in the kitchen. And have you ever, here's a thought for you, have you ever touched a switch, like for the garbage disposal, let's say, you're here, you're here washing uh, your dishes, put, getting ready to put them in the dishwasher, you've rinsed something off, and you've thrown some stuff down in there, you want to run the garbage disposal. Hey, before you run the garbage disposal, by the way, fill down in there, make sure you don't have a spoon, a fork, something like that caught in there. I don't know how many times stuff like that happens that you mess up something, so check that out first. Then, you know, lots of times your hand is wet, you reach over there nonchalantly, hit that. Have you ever been shocked by the light switch? before I if you ever have is there a way to protect yourself and have that GFI electrical electrically protected well there is a possibility I've never really done it but if you saw my video before there was three there was three things in here GF, um, a uh, garbage disposal switch an electrical outlet and a light switch okay and that light switch goes on uh, for this particular light up here so that you have light here right at the kitchen sink and I've already determined there's three different circuits in there okay and so I know I can't just tie something from this over to here and have it GFI protected I mean I, I probably could but I don't want to do that because there's a separate circuit for just the garbage disposal and when I say separate circuit I mean, there could be just a separate circuit for this one garbage disposal, but this particular kitchen has an island here. There's another garbage disposal right here. Okay? So, chances are, I am going to make the assumption that both of these garbage disposals are connected on one dedicated circuit from the electrical panel. Okay? And they'll have brought the power down below where where you plug in for the see there's a plug way back in there and chances are they've run one circuit it's my guess but see there's you saw right here there's two different things plugged into here one just happens to be for the dishwasher and I would have to look up the code and stuff and and remember what what to do at that point because there might be two different circuits going into that electrical outlet down there there could be one separate circuit for the dishwasher then there could be one separate one for the garbage disposal or there's one circuit for the garbage disposal that's connected to the dishwasher I can't remember exactly how how they do that you'd have to look at your electrical outlets or your your circuit breakers maybe your You've got one separate circuit breaker that's marked uh, dishwasher, one separate one marked for garbage disposal. But either way, let's, let's, let's just focus on the garbage disposal, okay? Let's say we've got one garbage disposal or two garbage disposals, and you've got one dedicated circuit to it. You could, you could run, uh, you could take the electrical outlet out, and here, as I showed you before, here it is down there. Whichever one's easier, you could take that out. You probably put a, you could probably put a GFI electrical outlet down there, that's hooked up in such a way, to where it also is a GFI protected switch for the garbage disposal. How about that? You could probably do that. And if there, you have two different electrical uh, garbage disposals in one kitchen, you first have to find out if they're both on one the same circuit. Then you got to find out where the power goes in to the first one. Maybe the power goes from here and then it daisy chains down underneath the floor, comes up over to here. So if you had something like that, then you would take your, your GFI electrical outlet and you would place it underneath this sink, hook it up in such a way to where you can get this garbage disposal and this garbage disposal switch. Both switches, you could then have GFI protected. Whew. And even if you have a, a dishwasher let's say you have two different circuits two different circuits in that electrical outlet down there and that's a possibility by the way okay you could then when you when you um, hook up the uh, the um, GFI electrical outlet 
you could probably still hook it up where you've got power just just GFI protection for the two uh, garbage disposals and not for the dishwasher I mean how far do you have to go and especially if you've got two circuits there um, I don't know if you can separate uh, a GFI electrical outlet like you can uh, by breaking the tabs on an electrical outlet because you can break the tab on the side on the inside and have one circuit for this electrical outlet down here and one circuit for up there if you break a tab on the side of it and for a GFI electrical outlet like this I don't know if there is that little tab on the side that you could break so I'm just I'm, I'm just bringing things up for you to think about maybe uh, you could if you had a question you could ask somebody at uh, Home Depot or or your local hardware store anybody who's versed in electrical knowledge and you could find out if you're really paranoid about the fact oh yeah I got shocked one time and I had my finger up there and I couldn't get it off and it was for a couple seconds and it burned the tip of my finger and I and I just I hate garbage disposals now I don't even touch those switches now and if you knew that you could have those protected by installing a, an additional GFI electrical outlet maybe that's something that would interest you okay food for thought.